what i do when a question is not solved best approach see the solution okay here's the thing this is a very old thumb rule that if a question is not solved try to solve it for 15 minutes okay so ultimately what you want to do is solve a particular question in one minute for every other examination other than gate examination or you want that question to be solved in uh, three minutes for gate examination but initially when you have just started preparation it's not going to be like you are already at that level so you have to start slow so even if it takes 10 minutes or 15 minutes for you to solve the same question that is required to be solved in three minutes in gate examination or one minute in ISRO examination, let us say, you should not be worried. But what you should be worried is that you are solving that question on your own. So you are investing your time, you are running your brain to solve that question. All right. And ultimately that time is going to reduce. Now it is going to take 15 minutes, then it's going to take 10 minutes, then it's going to take five minutes and ultimately you are going to reach where you want to be. But whatever question you're not able to solve, invest time. Initially, it does take a high amount of time and over time it is going to decrease and the number of questions are going to increase. But initially, that's where you start. But more than 15 minutes, you should not be investing because there's a high chance that the question is wrong or the concept that is involved, you have not even studied, right? So 15 minutes is the thumb rule. You can solve that. After that, if you do not find the answer, number one, do not see the answer. Discuss it with friends. Discuss it in various WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups, wherever you can get because discussion actually solidifies that concept better in your head. All right. So you have discussed. If you still do not get the answer, then look at the solution. And once you look at the solution, you put a star mark over there at that question that we are going to cover over, let us say, one one month or something like that i've talked about parallel revision i've talked about cyclic revision that is how you improve okay and then you solve that star mark question again and the questions that are not having star you need not, do not need to look at it again all right and even if you took like 15 minutes to solve a particular question and you solve it on your own you still need to give it a star mark because you took way too long if you are able to solve it in like five to ten minutes then definitely do not give a star mark because you are going to become better as you solve more number of questions like that all right okay Shubham Kumar moving to the next one okay Sumir Nandan does no fab affect studies and your experience with pornography okay see this is a question that is highly demanded we all know 